Hey there YouTube, this is GunDude73, bringing you another knife video today. And this time around we have the Kershaw OD1 model 1775 CKT, which stands for the fact that it's all blacked out. You can see the black blade, black G10, black scale on that side. Um, the OD1 is a nice little EDC knife. Um, good pocket clip design, it'll stay on your pocket quite well. I wish the clip rode a bit lower, but um, what do you do? It has a lanyard hole as you can see. Um, good fit and finish back here between the liner, backspacer, and frame. Um, there's no... It's nicely finished in the sense that it's smoothed out and there's nothing that's not fit correctly, so they did a good job there. Um, lock up on this model is great, it's rock solid. You can see it has a stainless steel frame lock, and it locks up early, which is nice. Um, the blade steel on this one is 14C28N, and it takes a really fine scalpel-like edge, in my experience. It doesn't hold it very long, but um, it definitely, um, it's not like terrible, t per se, but um, it won't, it won't go away like overnight on you. It just won't be as good as other steels, but it's decent. It's decent. So I'm going to bring in my magnifying glass here and just get a close-up. You can see right there it says Kershaw. The lock-up is a bit easier to see now. It's nice and early, which I like in a frame lock. gives it a lot of room to wear. Um, it's model 1775. There's the blade steel, the patent information, and it's made in the USA, which I happen to like. And it's Lee Williams design. And you must have designed the overdrive mechanism. It works well in my opinion. You can see the adjustable pivot pin. You can see that you could swap the clip. Only on this side though, it's not left hand set up. It has a nice tip. Nice and thin. Good for fine detail work. So um, that's it for the close ups. Very nice. It's a good EDC knife, in my opinion. Um, let's get a size comparison really quick. Have handy a Spyderco native. OD1, which opens nice and fast. Let's see here. The native is slightly smaller. As you can see, it's about... that much smaller overall. Doesn't mean much. <laughs> it's about three eighths of an inch shorter for people in the Imperial system. And um I noticed the coating on this holds up really well. I think it's titanium nitride. And um it's not gonna flake away on you like other coatings. Like I think the worst experience with the coating I had was Benchmade's BK one just kinda really showed where this masks wear pretty well in my opinion. So, um, if you're looking for a smaller EDC that's relatively inexpensive but well built and strong lockup and whatnot, I think the OD1 is a good option. It's also made in America. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next review. This is Gundy73, signing out, and have yourself a good one.